Have you ever been stuck at the beginning of an essay wondering how do you write a strong introductory paragraph for an argumentative essay? In this lesson, you will learn to write an introductory paragraph to engage the reader in the topic by telling your reader why this issue is important. Let's review the steps for writing an essay. First, we went about choosing a topic. Then, finding supporting evidence. The last phase we did was planning to write. Now we're ready to begin drafting the essay. A common mistake that writers make is that they have an organized, unorganized introduction, which makes for an unclear argument. A logical format would be A, B, C. Without a logical order, the reader might be left juggling where you're actually headed with your argument, which of course weakens the argument, creates a lot of question marks. We want to have a well-organized, strong argument. It all starts with the introduction. The steps in order to achieve that, first we want to grab the reader's attention with a hook. A hook could be an interesting fact, a personal story, or perhaps even a question. The second step we want to take is describe the topic and why it's important. The way that we do that is we present the major ideas of the essay. And finally, the third step we want to take is to write the thesis as the last sentence of your paragraph. First, how do I structure an introductory paragraph? Hook, major topics, thesis statement. Start off with the hook, present the major topics, end with the thesis statement. Important thing to remember. Our previous research is really going to help us out here, where we have our boxes and bullets as I develop my hook. So how do I develop a hook? It's important to remember what a hook actually is. It's used at the beginning of an essay to grab the reader's attention. So if I'm writing about school lunches here, what's a good way to do this? Let's try this. Have you ever eaten a school lunch that you thought was disgusting? All right, that's OK. But I, I sort of want to go with something else here. Most students look forward to lunchtime each day, but not because of the food. I don't directly call out the food as being bad or disgusting, but let's see if I can go with something a little stronger here. And still, I like that first part. So let's take a combination. Lunchtime is usually a student's favorite time of day. So why should the food be so horrible? So I start off with a question, but I really grab the reader's attention. I think this might do the trick. Now, how do I describe my topic and present the major reasons for my argument? I'm going to do this by taking a look at my major reasons and start turning these into sentence form. The food is not tasty. I can turn that into the food served at school does not taste good. Same thing, but now it's in sentence form. It's a little flashier. There are not options. Well, now the menu in the cafeteria does not offer options to hungry students. More descriptive in that sentence. How about the food is not healthy? Hmm, let me think. The food served in the cafeteria is rarely healthy. All right, so I went from not back to rarely, but I think this could work for me. And now I'm going to take a look at my claim, my thesis statement. Let's see if I can strengthen this up a little bit by asking, can I rewrite my thesis to improve my argument? All right, let me try this. There is no doubt that school lunches need to be improved. All right, that's a much stronger claim. I, I'm obviously very argumentative here. Well, let's see what this looks like all put together. Lunchtime is you. All right, there's my hook. There are my reasons. And there's my thesis. All right, that looks like a pretty good introductory paragraph. Can always become better during the revision stage, though. Does this paragraph clearly state what my argument's about? That's the key question. I believe it does. I have my thesis, I have my hook, I have my reasons. Good. Let's review the steps from today's lesson. Grab the reader's attention with a hook. Describe the topic and why it's important by presenting the major ideas. And finally, write the thesis as the last sentence of your paragraph. In this lesson, you learned how to write an introductory paragraph to engage the reader in the topic by telling your reader why this issue is important.